the biggest mistake we see organizations make is they overvalue experience in the interview process, which usually looks like interviewing the resume. Oh, tell me about this job. Tell me about that job. Tell me about this job. And then they think it's cool and they ask an experiential question, which, which is cool, frankly, but that, that only defines what they did, not necessarily what they're willing to do. Sure. So there's a big difference there too. So can they do it versus will they do it? You want to interview for the will they do it part. Okay. Those three things we just mentioned, that's really what you're trying to get to is the will they do it part. And there's, there's ways to, to, to understand that in, in a very quantitative and qualitative way by using assessment tools, things like that. But there's also interview strategies. We have a concept called the search model that helps define things beyond experience. So there's a lot there, a lot to do in the hundreds of reps I've hired and maybe thousands that have helped clients hire. Not easy, not easy to do, but those are three I would definitely put on the top of your list. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the search model. And, and that's, I would say, the second thing people lack is a success profile for each job that they're trying to hire for. And so, sure, experience matters. But what are the other things that you're interviewing for and looking for beyond just a resume or looking on LinkedIn? What are those skills? What are those attitudes? Um, what are the results that they've had in the past? Even like we said in the beginning, sometimes you are going to be hiring someone who maybe doesn't have sales experience, but what can you gain from them that shows that they've got, they, they not just uh, can do it from what they say, but they will do it. And, and you can certainly do that with the right. And the right. Yeah. If you, the pond you're fishing in is literally a pond. If all you're looking at is experience, like let's look at the ocean. Okay. And if they're willing to learn, if they know what motivates them, if they're willing to do the hard things, the behaviors, then you, you can expand your candidate pool and likely get better candidates than you would have gotten otherwise if you just looked at experience. So tough riddle, well, tough puzzle, but a fun one to try to solve. Yeah. And, and we know that the cost of a bad hire is extreme. So making sure that you do it right on the the, the front end and and uh, assess out these these three items are going to be huge for a successful top talent. Um.